Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the foliage marker in the Find the Markers game. You do have to head into the Washable Kingdom. If you don't know how to get there, simply start in the main city. Go to like the big like redstone building and climb up the back side. There should be an invisible trust you can climb, uh, climb up and you can get there. But I'm going to be showing you how to get the foliage marker. It's kind of a long process, so um... I won't speed up this video as it is semi-complicated, but I will just kind of guide you guys through. So basically, you have to find these orbs all around the map, and I believe the order does matter. So, uh, you're going to start with the one down there, and I don't think they deactivate. So you're going to start with the one down by the lily pad, head over to the one near the portal. It sort of makes a giant loop, so you're going to head to the one near the portal. And then there's another one right over by um, all of the merchants. You're going to come right here, activate that one. That, that one should be yellow, so it should be, uh, what, orange, purple, yellow. And there's this one over here. I believe there's seven in total. But then you're going to get this one right there. That one is like a uh, cyan blue. And then we're going to head into the King's Castle, which have number five. We're going to head into the King's Palace and come all the way up to the top. And I believe it is in this truss right here. Make sure you don't go to the one with the knight in it. He will kill you. But make sure you find the right one. Uh, it's actually this one over here. So it's the one to the right of the, um, the one to the right of where the knight would normally kill you. Activate that one, and that should be the white one. And then you can activate the one right over by the archer marker, and that one should be bright red. And then there is one more in, um, this thing right here, and this is where it kind of gets complicated. I'll explain to you guys once we get there, though. So you can head all the way up here. They have added, I believe, nine or ten new markers, um, for this update. We're gonna head down here. As you can tell, the final one is right there. Activate that. It goes with the little light um, celebration thing. This should open. I'll walk in here, and we have to. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. We have to walk in here and plant the giant seed. As you can tell, there's like three doors. These are all trials. You have an X amount of time to do each one. So I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna plant the seed, and you have to get a, a water bucket within a set amount of each time, and simply. You just have to jump on the lily pad. It's not that hard of parkour, to be honest. Oh, crap. It's not that hard of parkour. That's just a matter of getting through it. Don't switch your shift block while you're on this, by the way. It won't work that well. And you can also just climb up the side as well if that doesn't work out for you. So, simply just go like that onto the side. And it'll uh, most likely work out for you. Alright, guys. So, as we are doing this lily pad one, simply what you want to do... You can walk the side wall as I showed you earlier, but um, I would recommend just jumping on the lily pad. Sometimes you can even skip one if you get lucky. It does take a couple of attempts to get through, but it wasn't all that difficult actually. It did take a while. Um, it took me about 20 minutes roughly of recording to get the whole thing done. But we got it done. As you can tell, I skipped the lily pad right there. You might be able to do that. The good thing is once you actually make it to the water for any section, instead of... Uh, bringing you back to the start you just have to simply work backwards and then it'll go so it sucks that's bringing you back to the start i don't think you can reset your character or else it'll um send you back to the actual washable kingdom and then you end up losing the water anyway so make sure that you don't reset um so you keep going through if you don't want to do it you can always reset and it'll take you back to washable kingdom and uh the timer will go in all that jazz but um you do have to complete it before all the green goes away and the red fills up if the red manages to fill all the way up and um the water hasn't been turned into the thing then um your time runs out and you have to plant a new seed but since there are three trials you have to plant the seed three times in order for it to grow fully and um obviously if the bucket's not full you can't do anything and um yeah it's about it you gotta do it three times make sure the green line doesn't fill out and every time you um do it the green line will actually reset so as you can tell the bucket is now empty and the timer has reset i believe it's the same timer for each trial I'm guessing it's probably three minutes, maybe five. But um, so for the um, for the mushroom one, it's just little things that pop up. I believe they're timed, and then once you get to these mushrooms, click the second one, the first one, and the third one. It may be different for you, as you can tell. It said two, one, three up on the wall though. And when we come back, we don't worry about clicking those mushrooms. Although you do have to worry about clicking the ones that bring up the obby. So simply go in the little line one. And then head over to the little box ones, jump on those, and then you're good. So now we did that one pretty quickly. And in my opinion, the hardest trial is actually the vine one. This one took me the most attempts to do. Um, I'm going to check it out real quick before I turn the water in. But yeah, so um, if I was you, I recommend being kind of... We're not going to do that. I recommend being kind of hesitant with your jumps instead of just going like full force. Because there are a couple vines that are pretty up high. This took me kind of a while to figure out. I was kind of like 
I started stutter stepping the jumps almost, if that makes sense. Like I was jumping and then like kind of like stopping in midair like that. What I just did. It's kinda hard to explain, but like you jump but like you don't like you keep running forward, you kinda like uh like tap W a couple times. I don't know how to describe it. But so once we make it over here we should be good. Oh let's go. Alright, first try baby, pretty much. Alright, we'll head on back. Uh this one's kinda hard to get past honestly. You get stuck pretty often. Oh maybe not, maybe not. Oh. I think you can actually go under, maybe. I think you can. I think we'll figure that out here in a second. Yeah, the jump kind of gets annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we keep going through. The timer's filling up, but yeah, once you get the thing, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you can go under. That makes it a whole lot easier. See, so yeah, I go under it, and then just um jump in between those two, and again, you might have to kind of start up your jump. You mainly only have to stutter step it on the way there, not as much on the way back. But once you get all three of the things, the vine should grow and you can climb it. Um, so we're gonna head over here, plant the final water thing. The seed should be really big and it should be a giant like stalk of stuff. And then it kind of like flash, you should be able to climb it now. So click on climb up. And as you can tell, right there is the foliage marker. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, that is going to be the end of this tutorial. Um, it is kind of a complicated process, but hopefully you can get the marker for yourself. If you need help, leave um, a comment in the, um, the comment section. I can try to help you guys out. Uh, leave a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.